We came in the United States in 1977, the first Indian restaurant, Standard India restaurant, we opened at Devan. After that we have 1988 at Belmont. We're the oldest and first Indian restaurant outside of India that actually does Thali. And Thali is more about the experience. The thali is as if you were eating in our home. So it's not only about just the, the silverware and the, and the sterling stainless steel that we have, it's more about the experience. So when something you know, is, uh, is out or you'd like some more and you love something, then we bring out some more, just like we do in our home in India. You know, the people come, they talk, they say, oh, it's so cozy. Even your waiters, they are so, they have a good service and they are so friendly. When myself and my sister got together, we said, what can we do to perpetuate this? And it was wonderful. We refused to alter any of mom and dad's recipes. And the essence of the restaurant is all mom and dad. So it means a lot to be able to carry mom and dad's tradition and to continue to share that. So, Tanil, you say that Standard India has you bending over backwards with excitement. Tell us why you chose it. Yes, okay. Um, whenever I go to Standard India, I always get the buffet. They have um, a wide range of uh, dishes on the, on the buffet, and they're always fresh, which is awesome and sometimes rare when you go to different buffets, like sometimes things are dried out or whatever. Not so at Standard India. And then also the owners are just... They're so kind and loving and they make you feel like you're at home, which is something that they strive to do. And that just takes the dining experience to another level. So not only is Standard India the standard for you, but yeah. it was your first foray into Indian food. Yes, it was. And um, a nice surprise, because I was kind of skeptical at first, like, oh, what is this going to be like? I don't know. <laughs> and then I went and it was awesome. and. Um, I can't get away. I'm addicted for sure. Paul, you were so excited when you yes, saw that we were sending you to Standard India. Yes. Tell us why. You know why? Because my wife has never eaten Indian food before either. Uh -huh. That was her first, her very first time eating. She's very timid at trying different things. Uh -huh. We get there, she loved it. Yes, we she absolutely loved it. We got the buffet. We both got the buffet, so we were able to uh -huh. try a little bit of everything. Uh -huh. uh, we had a, a waitress named Allie. The white sauce is called Rita. Very cool. It's made with yogurt and cucumber. Uh -huh. And oh, yeah. she was she was wonderful because she sat there and explained every okay. little everything that was on the buffet menu. She explained to us what mm -hmm. it was, what it's going to taste like, the spicy or whatever, and. Uh, Everything she said was rang to be true, you know. That's awesome. She loved it. Mm -hmm. So, Sonia, being of Indian descent, this is n certainly not your first time with Indian food. Um, how does the standard India um, stack up against the, uh, the others? You know, I thought it was pretty standard Indian fare. I think with Devon right up the street, it, it doesn't hit the mark that those restaurants do, and it, it just wasn't that authentic for, authentic for me. But, you know, like both of you, it, if it's your first time trying Indian food, it's mm -hmm. definitely a good way to segue mm -hmm. into it. The buffet offers such a variety of dishes to try, and the waiters obviously coming to the table with, um, like, silver containers yeah. Yeah. full of food or, like, with the naan or the cheese bread mm -hmm. inside, and you can kind of see them coming throughout the meal with, mm -hmm. with new stuff. So mm -hmm. that's kind of fun. You're like, my what wife, are they bringing yeah, next? Right, <laughs> right. My wife really liked the, uh, it was the, Mur makani. Uh -huh. it's, it's it's in a it's chicken within. It's like a, it's an orange. It's like a tomato, a curry a sauce, uh -huh. and she loved it. And we, we put a big mound of uh, uh, rice on her plate and just poured it on top of there. And, oh, that was so good. I got to try so many different things, different kind of chicken, lamb, um, spinach. With the, I, I like the spinach one uh -huh. the, with the with the cheese in Back it. That, yeah, uh -huh. that, that, that was it. That, that was delicious. And then there was one. It was like a potato fried in this uh, samosas. Samosas, uh -huh. and, and it had three different dips. Oh, yeah, that was delicious too. I, I love that. Tanil is a uh, standard in a good bang for the buck. 
Yes, oh. I think so. Fifteen ninety nine for um, buffet. I think that's pretty darn good. So, Sonia, describe sort of the decor of the restaurant. You go in. It kind of looks like a cafe. There's um, the traditional silver silver thalies that they use to serve the food with the with the small bowls all around it. Um, they have they bring the non bread in this sort of silver contraption. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks kind of like a little spaceship on your table. Denise actually went to uh, New Delhi to pick those out and bring them back. So a lot of the things that they have in the restaurant are actually from India. Like they're from New mm -hmm. Delhi, which is from, which is where Denise and Nick are from. So it's very cool. We brought a bottle of wine. Um, I forget it was it was a bottle of red wine. And one thing that I actually didn't like was that they poured it into the metal cups. And it actually ruined the, the taste yeah, of the, the wine. It, it made it fizz, and so we ended up ruining half of our bottle of wine. But you know, it's interesting when you up having a drink. When you go to BYOB restaurants, you can actually bring your own glassware. Mm. It's a you can actually get special suitcases to put your bottle mm. and then a couple glasses. I know it sounds weird. It's very James Bond walking in with your own glassware, but you can do that. But one of my favorite things to have with Indian food is Prosecco. I love it because it's fizzy, it's a little sweet. Pack a bottle of Prosecco and some flutes and you're good to go, it sounds like. <laughs> you talked about Denise and Nick earlier. Describe them. They're brother and sister, yes. which I think is miraculous that yes. they can work together. <laughs> yes. Because so, I would probably um, kill my brother. <laughs> Denise and Nick are, well, their father is the one who started the mm -hmm. restaurant and it's been around for um about 32 years now. It was the first Indian restaurant on Devon. Yes. But the Belmont was an expansion and now the only standard in India yes. restaurant. And um, so now that he's passed on, um, by popular demand, like Nick and Denise have taken up the mantle of keeping standard India like alive and going. Here we go, chicken tikka with boneless, skinless chicken breast. It was cooked in the tandoor and it has a little bit of chopped masala and a little bit of lemon. Denise came to our table while we were there. Uh -huh. she was there. We were there on a Sunday. She came and she talked with us. She asked us how we were doing. Uh -huh. They asked how the food was and she was very friendly. Yeah, and genuine, right? She's very. just like such a lovely soul. Yes. All right, well, Tanil, you picked standard Indian restaurant. Sum it up for us. The best Indian food for, um, for your money in Chicago. All right. Yeah. Sonia? If you're in the neighborhood and you're looking to try Indian food maybe for the first time, go back. Otherwise, Devon would be a better option. All okay. right. And Paul? Uh, very tasty Indian food and at the right price. <laughs> well, you can taste the heat for yourself at Standard <laughs> India Restaurant, 917 West Belmont Avenue, 773-929-1123. They're for dinner only Wednesday through Thursday, open for lunch and dinner Friday through Sunday. Reservations are accepted. Alcohol is BYOB and the average tab per person is $15. Mm -hmm.